it's a really frustrating situation. And it all started with this letter from the IRS showing for the year 2020, the Ohio couple whose names we are not going to release owes an additional $6,600 in taxes. The IRS has sent us a letter saying that we're responsible for additional income, uh, which was fraudulently filed unemployment in the state of Maryland in our names. According to the letter, the IRS received two 1099-G forms claiming Maryland paid the couple a total of $20,600 in unemployment compensation. That's how the couple learned they are victims of identity theft and fraud. We don't live in the state of Maryland. We have never lived in Maryland. We've never actually, um, thankfully, had to file for unemployment. They say trying to get help in Maryland's Department of Labor added to their frustration. The employees you talk to don't give you any form of employee ID number. So there's really no way to document who you're talking to or what they're saying, and they won't send you any documentation that you filed a claim. The couple says the IRS requested the name and address of whoever received the misidentified income, but they don't know who committed the fraud. The IRS gives them until October 26th to respond, or it will send a statutory notice of deficiency and a final bill that could include penalties. This process is so messy. It's who do we call? We just call everyone we can think of at this point. They also contacted the Ohio Department of Jobs and Family Services, the offices of the Ohio Attorney General, and Maryland Attorney General. The Department of Labor tells us fraud is still a massive problem. A spokesman writes in an email, since the beginning of the pandemic, we have flagged nearly 1.9 million claimants and 2.5 million total claims as potentially fraudulent. We have received more fraudulent claims than honest and deserving claims. The department says it has reached out to the couple and has removed their social security numbers from the fraudulent claim. Also, it is critical they fill out a form requesting a fraud investigation and an affidavit for a correction to a 1099-G. But the couple is extremely hesitant. They say that they never received the original tax form from the Labor Department and the fraud form doesn't specifically focus on their issue as they are not reporting someone who may have committed fraud. They are the victims of fraud. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Barry Sims.